Well, now that he's gone, we have to make sure that he never leaves. Jason Spezza announces his retirement from the National Hockey League as a player, and he retires as a member of the Toronto Maple Leafs, but he will be staying with the organization as a member of the front office. From the Leafs press release, Toronto Maple Leafs forward Jason Spezza has announced his retirement from the National Hockey League after 19 seasons. With his announcement, Spezza will be joining the Maple Leafs front office as special assistant to general manager Kyle Dubas, effective immediately. Now I've seen a lot of reaction to this with people going, what the heck is special assistant to the general manager? And here's the great thing. Who knows? I mean, if he's special assistant to the general manager, it's entirely up to Kyle Dubas, isn't it? And in a way, it's also up to Jason Spezza. I've already spoken to a few people today who were wondering, oh, was Spezza forced into this by the Leafs? Because remember, he was a healthy scratch at times this season and during the Stanley Cup playoffs. No, no, I don't think that's what happened at all. At the end of this season, Spezza said, I'm not going to play for any other team other than the Leafs. Heck, early last season, he got put on waivers and said, if you claim me, I'm just going to retire. With today's announcement, we can be pretty confident that he wasn't bluffing. Do I think Spezza would have kept playing if it was an option to him? Yes. Do I think it was an option to him? Not really, no. Over the final 10 games that he played during the regular season, Spezza only made it over 10 minutes of ice time four times. One of those four times was 15 minutes and 37 seconds in the last game against the Boston Bruins, and then you realize, oh wait a sec, that game meant basically nothing and everyone was scratched. He did get to wear a letter, that was cool. Then Spezza only played in five out of the Leafs' seven games against Tampa, and his ice time was 8.23, 11.33, 5.50, 6.19, and 8.13, with one assist. You know what? A lot of guys hold on. They, he could have signed. I think he could have signed and they would have been like, all right, you're going to be a healthy scratch most of the time, but you might get into a few games and it would have been worth it to hold on because he'll get at least five points, which would bring him to a thousand. Yeah, that's right. The most heartbreaking part of all this, besides the Leafs not being able to get Spezza a cup, is he's retiring with 995 career points. Mike Babcock sitting at home like, damn, that's a shame. I thought he had four more in him. People don't forget! He would have got five in the home opener if you didn't put Nick Shore in! Anyway, this role with the Toronto Maple Leafs was the obvious next step in Jason Spezza's career, and he's choosing to take it now. And the Leafs wisely are clinging to Jason Spezza because what a player, what a leader, what a teammate, what a person. Clearly beloved in the Leafs locker room. Has clearly essentially been a player coach for several years, a player assistant coach. I mean, I wouldn't be shocked to see him on the ice with the Leafs over the course of the summer, would you? And the role of special assistant to the general manager means he gets to essentially learn while on the job. Listen, there were rumors abounding that if the Leafs lose in the first round, Kyle Dubas might be going. Now we already know by the sounds of it, that's not going to happen. It'd be weird if it did at this point based on everything that's happened and everything that the team has said. But it is true that one day Dubas will not be the GM of the Leafs. Who knows, maybe he ends up doing this job for four more decades and they win a bunch of cups, I hope, and then he retires. In the event it doesn't go down like that, in the NHL, and in a lot of real life really, a lot of people end up being replaced by someone they trained. Who knows, with this role and by the time it's all said and done, Jason Spezza could eventually be the GM of the Leafs. He could be the GM of some other team. He can be assistant GM with the Leafs, assistant GM with some other team. This is him taking a proactive approach to the next step in his career. And he's doing it with the team that he wants to do it with because Jason Spezza is and always will be a leaf. And now I'm sad. Sad because no longer will he not be in a leaf uniform. Actually, well, no, 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 no. Let's take a minute on that. So, I checked. And just for the sake of checking. It is possible, if the Leafs wanted to, and if Jason Spezza wanted to, that on the day of the trade deadline, the Leafs could sign Jason Spezza, and he could be a player for the Toronto Maple Leafs for the rest of the year. I'm just, it, it's allowed. They could do it. Well, think about it. Like, it's not that actually wild of a theory. Let's say at some point during the season, even after the trade deadline, potentially, 
the Leafs have a bunch of injuries and they're not satisfied with the guys who could replace them on the Marlies. Maybe the Marlies have a bunch of injuries as well. That's happened before. But then here's this dude who like, gets Kyle Dubas' coffee who just happens to be an NHL quality player. I'm just saying, if it's possible, Jason Spezza would be a hell of an e e e bup e bup emergency backup player e bup e bup it doesn't roll like e bug e bup it's it's i hate it more now listen the toronto maple leafs are trying to exercise their demons and in order to do that you have to understand yourself no one is going to understand the toronto maple leafs more than the toronto maple leafs we know dubas's thoughts on things we know keith's thoughts on things from his unique perspective as coach and now spezza as a player gets to bring his unique perspective to it all. I mean, Sheldon Keefe played in the NHL as well, but Jason Spezza was on the Leafs a month ago. Less than a month ago. It still hurts. Less than a month ago. During his tenure as a Toronto Maple Leaf, Spezza was determined to do everything he could to get the Leafs over the hump. They obviously haven't gotten over the hump, but I think we can all agree it ain't Spezza's fault. And I just think it's beautiful that he gets to continue to help the Leafs in their quest, just in a different role. I hope he's here for a long time. And I'll end with this. How about CJ? Chris Johnston went on the Steve Dangle podcast, you might have heard of it, on SDPN, and he did his, you know, end of season autopsy as he does. We played a little game called Staying or Going, where we took a look at a list of Toronto Maple Leafs, and I just said one word answer, staying or going. So far, He's two for two. He said Spezza, staying not as a player, he got that right. Giordano, staying, he got that right. Simmons, staying, but he said he might not play, we'll see. Engvall, staying. Mikheyev, going. Campbell, going. Mrazek, going. Kerfoot, going. Hall, going. And the three he was unsure about, Labushkin, Muzzin, and Blackwell. Now we provided a little more than one word answers for some of those guys. Muzzin, in particular, is a fascinating one. Let's see if this undefeated streak keeps going for CJ. A key free agent name that I forgot to ask about in that segment is Andre Kasha. But if you want to watch the segment, it's right there on the SDPN YouTube channel. Pro producer Drew, can you put it some somewhere? Can you? He'll, he'll produce it somewhere. He didn't play here very long, but man, he had some great memories. So many just clap bombs. That bomb on the rush against Ryan Miller when he was with the Ducks. Oh, Sheldon Keefe righting a wrong from Spetz's healthy scratch in his, what should have been his first game as a Toronto Maple Leaf, making him on the starting lineup, on the starting line with John Tavares during the next generation game against the Carolina Hurricanes, December 23rd, 2019. And then Spezza ends up getting the goal on that shift in front of all his family and friends. The fight in game four while the Leafs were down 3 nothing to the Columbus Blue Jackets. A goal so nasty that Austin Matthews on the bench was like, Aah! He could still put the points up, he could still snipe on you, and he was always willing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe for his teammates. Jason Spezza, enjoy retirement, but it's hard to say goodbye when you're not actually going anywhere. Get it done, man. Get it done. So, what do you think of Jason Spezza's retirement and the fact that he's joining the Leafs' front office in a special assistant to the general manager role? Leave a comment in the comment box down below, but for now, that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends. I, th I think you can still buy a Spezza jersey. It wouldn't be weird.